the silver shroud outfit wait my reign of terror the commonwealth has suffered more than its fair share of injustices because of you now you'll face the full might of the mechanist my righteous robots will end your tyranny once and for all With your voice there <laughs> a little bit of puberty happened Reaper. Is everything gone? Alright, we're ready for the next round. Hey, don't get up in my business. Jesus, I really whacked him. Did you say bring in the what? Oh, the turrets! Oh, you guys! Please! Oh! Is there anything else that I could... No? Here's one. them self-destruct, but I got them too fast. shooting at me. Did I? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh no. Of oh, Sparks is the little helper robot. Can you guys shoot those Tesla things? Bring her in. Is that her? Dual bot. Oh boy. Bombs. Standing back just in case. Oh man. It's like one of those uh, things at the end of a game where you have to fight all the bosses over again. Oh jeez. Mechanist. Meganist, your voice is really starting to go. Is this like secretly a child? Just wearing a costume? Oh, gonna blow up? Jesus! <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna drink up a bunch of bees and then take a rat away. Very thirsty. Oh! Trash bot! Oh god! 
Bombs away, really, though. Where's the next one? Down there? Come here, you! We're, like, scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point. Eyebots and trash bots. Get that one. I just want to see what's gonna happen. One. Thanks, friends. And it's gone dark. Using me, you're confused. Quit hiding. I'm not a villain. Nope. Why are you accusing me? Why are you accusing me of being a bad guy? You've destroyed my robot allies. They seek to save the people of the Commonwealth, and yet you deliberately stand in their way. I'm not a villain. I, I just want you to hear me out, face to face. Very well. I will hear you out, but only for the sake of the Commonwealth. Sparks with me! Ada, please. Your light is right in my face. You coming down? Oh, there it is. Oh. Convenient ramp. Hello there. Let us discuss this. Do you think it's time you ditch the mask? Who are you? Yeah. Don't you think it's time you ditched that mask? You're... You're right. Ada, your light, please. Oh, it's a lady! I'm... Isabel. Cruz. The mechanist was just an easy way for me to help the Commonwealth. But all my technical knowledge and all of these resources and I still failed. How does the Commonwealth have any hope against people like you? Uh, you busted up your robots. They're just machines. And they're killing people. You're confused. Don't her drop the hero act, lady. Start with a question, because then I'll be able to answer the other way. You think I'm the enemy here? I may have busted up your robots, but they're just machines. And they're killing real people out there. They have taken innocent lives. My friends, they were simple traitors. All dead at the hands of your robots. Only people that threaten the safety of the Commonwealth. They'd never harm an innocent person. The robots are programmed to protect. Their subroutines are clean. Observe, evaluate, and react accordingly. The testing was thorough. I ran every scenario, all past. No, I didn't get the chance to do that one. Let's see, you must, some way watching them. You know, I have to do sarcastic. Call it user error then. One of your robo brains admitted it. They're killing people to save them. No, I, I don't believe you. They can't alter their programming. They're programmed to save people, not kill them. Saving people by killing them? Open your eyes. Stop looking at the damn numbers. Are you listening to me? They are saving people by killing them. A deadly misinterpretation. I am listening. I'm just processing. So many precautions and safeguards. And the data. They were always reporting hostiles killed and, and lives. Oh, 
Saved. No, it's... the logic. Oh, it's there. I can see it now. I was hoping it was the Robobrains, an issue with their memory wipes. But you're right. Their primary directive was flawed. <laughs> they require memory wipes. Maybe that's why you don't stick human brains in them. Maybe that's <laughs> why you don't stick human brains in robots. I wanted to help the Commonwealth. And robots are all I know. I found this place and figured I could finally do my part. I accept full responsibility. I can't take back what I've done, or even atone for it. But this doesn't have to end in violence. I wasn't going to hurt you. <laughs> as long as you're willing to talk. I have a mask. Your plan backfired. That's where you're wrong. I'm not here to kill you. Tell me, why the mask? What's with the mechanist? I'm not good with people. The mechanist gave me a way to put myself out there without really being out there at all. But you're kind of keeping me in suspense here. I can turn this around. I, I just need a chance. Your plan backfired. This was one costly accident. I'm not here to kill you. Your plan backfired. If you're telling the truth, this was one costly accident. It is the truth. I only ever wanted to make the Commonwealth a safer place. I grew up on a settlement. I've seen how good people struggle against raiders and super mutants. I'd never want to be counted among them. Here. Take this. It's the password to the mainframe. You can use it to shut down the security protocols. I just... I'd rather this place be in your hands now. Alright, she is stopped. Oh, I can't talk to Sparks. I miss having Eddie from uh, New Vegas. I want to go back and play New Vegas. On six, yeah, critical power failure. Cancel security alerts. You've unlocked city plans and mechanist lair. City plans? Like for like a, a like a mayor to take over? Oh Ada, you got a new place to live. Error, invalid response, yeah. Unable to initialize, yeah, okay. <laughs> These are basically slaves. Human brains in robot bodies. Just tippy-tapping away forever. Oh, you... Did a quick change. Ahem. Hey, just one more thing, if you have a minute. What's up? Just a quick thing. I just wanted to say I'm really happy, thankful that you've let me stick around here. And in order to show you that I'm done with the past, I want you to have this as a sort of Is it promise, the suit? I guess. It's the... Yep. Mechanist suit I made. 72, 72. I mean, that's not terrible. You really don't want it anymore? No. It's part of a past I don't want to dwell on. It's time I move on. There's one more thing. A much bigger thing. Oh, well, you have a there request. Are still robots out there. Lots of them. My communications are down, and I can't call them back. But I can tell you where they are, if you're interested. All right. Seriously? How many robots are out there? Quite a few. <laughs> there's a lot of ground to cover on the Commonwealth, so there's kind of a whole bunch out there. 
All right, what, am I going to get some kind of tracking device? Sure. Great. Give me a minute. <laughs> no, holy smokes, I'm tracking multiple bots. Be careful, okay? Holy smokes. <laughs> Who says that? Oh, it's going to be one of those, like, repeating radiant quests, isn't it? Ada, come down here. Let's be on level ground. Ada. Ada, please. Fine. Let's just stand on the ramp then. Hey. What can I do for you? Ada? Your return is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. <laughs> um. Doesn't have to fear. I shut her down. I got her to see the truth. She's standing down. So the mechanist really was misguided. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? Wanted to help people. Fooled by her own logics. Yeah. She truly wanted to help people. She didn't know what the robo-brains were doing. To her, a life saved was a life saved. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the Mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. That's kind of human history, too. She had good intentions. She's an idiot. She's good at heart. She's good at heart. She made a mistake. A big one. And she'll live with that guilt. I believe I have a certain understanding when it comes to guilt. While it's not the justice I had hoped for, it will suffice. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Had the Mechanist's robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive. Halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment. And I have you to thank for it. All robot mods unlocked, huh? Alright. Um, now I guess, yeah, it's just the, what I'm assuming is a Radiant quest. Do I have anything left to mess around with? Wasn't there something I wanted to do? I think I said I wanted to do something. But now I've forgotten. Something in here, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Well, um... I guess what I could do is set this up as a... as a, uh... What do you call it? Put a mayor in charge, whatever. <laughs> freight elevator. This must be the quick exit. Okay. Well, if there is any remaining quest that you would like to see me go on and do, let me know. Otherwise, this might be near the end, so unless I look back over my footage and see what it was that I had wanted to do, but I'm not mem remembering right now. God, I really wish I could do Nuka World. Maybe what I'll do is, once I get outside, I'll, like, say say my goodbye, and then I'll pop over and see if I can actually cross to Nuka World. Hopefully it just, you know, it started working, but, you know, somehow, somehow that happens sometimes. Things will break, and then you try again, and it's like, oh, it's fine now. I hear you out there, you shits. Where am I at? There it is. The Mechanist Lair. Yeah, and it's now officially a settlement. Uh, let's see if I... No, first, what I'll do, I'll... I'll kill these guys, because I don't know if I'll be able to actually fast travel with them farting around out here. You guys know the Institute is gone, right? Oh man, there's a lot of them.
but that's fine. I can kill lots of them. No problem. The other one. Ah! Is there another one around? Ooh. Jeez. Hiding. Oh, oh, fine. What? What'd you say? Dance. Dance. Were you about to talk to me? Stand down, soldier. Dance? If you have the time to talk now, I'd still like to know what you think about Scribe Halo. Really? Uh... I mean, she seems fine. Scribe Halen? Why? Is something wrong with her? No, not at all. Halen's doing well. I simply wanted to talk to you about her, but I wanted to know what you thought of her first. I mean, I... She's great. She's as dedicated as they come. A real team player. I couldn't agree more. But I wasn't looking for an evaluation of her performance as a scribe. I wanted to know what you thought of Halen as a person. Well, I mean, she did help to save you. <sighs> so there is a heart beating under all that armor after all. I suppose I deserve that. I just don't normally find these discussions easy to handle, so I try to avoid them at all costs. The truth is... I'm worried about her. Since you and I are getting along so well, I felt like I could confide in you about it, to get your honest opinion. Okay, yeah. Um... I appreciate that you value my opinion so highly. Tell me what's on your mind. Is this going to open a new quest? Let me explain everything from the beginning. A few months before you found us, one of my men was shot multiple times by raiders. Halen stayed by that knight's side for two days straight, without sleep, fighting to keep him alive. But he was on a slow decline. I decided that his suffering needed to end, and ordered Halen to administer an overdose of painkillers, so he could die with dignity. Even though I'm certain she wanted to continue fighting for that knight's life, she injected him without question. I mean, that doesn't sound like a bad decision. Hmm. Are you asking me whether or not I approve? Of course not. I stand by every order I've ever given. That soldier was gravely wounded. Even if, by some miracle, he happened to survive, he would have been paralyzed for life. But the decision whether or not to ease that soldier's suffering isn't the point here. The point is what happened later that same evening. Halen approached me while I was on watch. She didn't say a word, but I could tell something was wrong. After what felt like an eternity, she collapsed into my arms, crying. I didn't know what to do, so I just held her for a while. A few minutes later, she stopped, kissed me on the cheek, and simply said, thank you, before heading back into the police station. Right then, it hit me. Maybe I pushed her too hard. I ordered her to ignore her instincts to do something her medical training told her was wrong. That's why I'm worried about her. And for that matter, everyone under my command. Which is basically everyone since you're now the, uh, <laughs> the guy in charge. This isn't really about Halen, is it? No, I guess it isn't. Look, four soldiers. Over half of my team are gone. Each one of them died because of decisions that I made. I understand the risks that come with the job. We all do. But how can anyone have confidence in me anymore? Hell, how can I have confidence in myself? Hmm. I want to support him or tell him that what he did yeah, I think. The way you held Halen tells me you care about them. And they care about you. I... I never thought of it that way. 
Well, it looks like things have taken a turn. I signed up to be your sponsor, so I teach you everything that I know. But it looks like I'm the one that needed the lesson today. All joking aside, I'm pleased that we had this discussion. And with all the problems you're facing, you still took the time to listen. It's comforting to know that I can speak to you as more than just your commanding officer. <laughs> Does this mean you'd be there to hold me if I ever needed it? I, uh, I don't know. I, I never thought you'd <laughs> Look at his face. Like <laughs> it would depend on the circumstances, but I suppose we'll just have to see what happens when the time comes. Anyway, thanks for letting me get that off my shoulders. I think it's been weighing on me more than I realized. I'm only sorry you had to see me at my worst instead of at my best. Well, if I can't handle you at your worst, I don't deserve you at your best. Right, so that all those guys are cleared up. We got a nice dance conversation. So I'm going to say a goodbye here, and then I'm going to go try and go into Nuka World. And if it works, then I guess I'll see you in Nuka World. If not, then I'll see you in the next recording. So, um, well, if I do more after this, let me know if you want to see more... Fallout 4 stuff. I can just do some random quests. Maybe there are some things that I might have missed somewhere. You know, let me know. If not, I might be moving on to a new game after this. So, anyway. Goodbye. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you in the next video.